Authority Local Forecast. All right, we got ourselves another one of those 300 plus days out of the year of abundant sunshine here in the desert southwest and abundant heat to go with it as well just not to excessive levels. We'll get into that in just a little bit, but your RV world of Yuma SkyCam giving you that glimpse from the Yuma perspective right there. And as far as the satellite radar perspective goes, uh, one of the intriguing things is that we're starting to see a little bit of pop over in the southeastern section of Arizona, along the eastern Arizona, New Mexico border as well. So uh, some active weather beginning to percolate a little bit. And uh, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. But one thing to take note of is Yes, we don't have that excessive heat. That's what we've been promoting for some time. And well, the National Weather Service has backed that off today. So we have barely got just underneath the threshold or the qualifications of getting to that excessive heat. In other words, we didn't quite get to 110 or 111 degrees today. And here's what we're looking at. At least some of us have kind of inched in along that. But as far as more of a widespread field, that pretty much kind of just directed the National Weather Service to say, you know what, we're just going to back off on that. But you can see over in eastern Yuma County, you can argue that there should be an excessive heat warning over in that particular part of it. But you can go over to the west side of it and you can see that we're pretty much around the 108, 109 degree mark. Now for tonight, so you got that dry flow continuing and, and here's the, the red shaded area right here. This is the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms because of a moisture plume kind of working its way in and so that's giving a subtropic feel and that's going to continue on into Friday as well and it's going to affect areas like Tucson for example, eastern Arizona again possibly even up into Flagstaff in the eastern parts of the state even northern Arizona as well so that's what we can be looking at over the course of the next uh, day or so but the future cast here's how things stand we're going to see that trough continue to work its way down this is a bit abnormal because they normally don't get this far south as you can see, it's definitely going to have its impact and it's going to bring our temperatures down nicely for Father's Day. Yeah, dads are rejoicing for that for sure. As you can see, 84 degrees by midnight tonight will be in the high end 70s as we get up in the wee hours of the morning. Your air quality index brought to you by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. We're looking moderate through and through and for your extended forecast. Here we go. It's going to be an awesome day for dads weather wise, at least for this time of year. Remember, the daytime high average should be around 103 to 104 degrees and in the Imperial Valley, we're not going to even get to 100 degrees by dad's day. So that's a nice little treat for dads before we really go right back up to excessive levels as we get on to the midpoint of next week.